Good morning, Wesley families. How are you today? <laughs> I hope you are well. You're with me in my kitchen again today, and I'm just looking to build a little ice cream sundae. I've got a little marshmallow fluff here that I am going to spoon a little bit down on the bottom of a bowl. It's nice and sticky, so it'll take a minute. <laughs> hmm. I wonder why I might be building an ice cream sundae. Do you guys like ice cream sundaes? I think they are fabulous. And they're so simple to make, but they're so fun to make, aren't they? They're such a simple joy in building an ice cream sundae. We're in the third Sunday of Advent, and we are talking about joy this week. I don't know about you, but ice cream certainly brings joy to my life. <laughs> and building an ice cream sundae builds joy. You might nor not normally see fluff on the bottom of a sundae, but I've got the base of some fluff, and then I've got some good old vanilla ice cream, and I'm going to be sure to scoop a nice circle of it and plop it right on top. I'm going to use my fingers. I plan on eating it after, so it's okay. <laughs> so then we do our ice cream. Now, as we build this, do you guys know maybe a snowman who expressed some joy? Today, or this week I should say, we got to talk about Frosty the snowman, right? I'm putting on my little pieces of coal which are chocolate chips. I'll hold it up in a minute so that you guys can really see. So Frosty the Snowman certainly expressed a lot of joy in his movie and in his time, right? He even starts off when he's made and comes to life, how he came to life one day, by saying, happy birthday, right? It's the simple things, him just being alive. Simple things like the children building a snowman. Simple things like an ice cream sundae that can just bring us joy in having some ice cream. Now, you know some other things that can bring some joy? Well, beside Reese's Pieces, which are next. <laughs> other things that can bring joy are helping others. Think of all the times that you have helped someone and it just feels so good to help them, right? All right, I'm just gonna plop this down. And look at this. I have a melty snowman sundae. Ah! <laughs> I hope you can see that well. He's a little bit of a melty snowman. And you know what? Even in the movie, Frosty the Snowman, even when he had those moments where he was a little warm because he was helping little Sally, um, he was still the most joyful, jolly guy ever. And he taught a simple joy by simply being alive. And there were a whole bunch of helping moments. I was saying that, you know, when we help someone, that's the best way to feel pure joy. Now, certain points in the movie um, where, you know, people came to help, we had the moment where um, Hocus Pocus, you know, brought the magic hat back for the kids, right? That made him really happy. And then the children helped Frosty get on the train so he can get frozen again, right? Because he got warm. He got warm, so the children helped him, and that made them feel so good to get back up to the North Pole, right? And then Frosty and Hocus Pocus um, took care of Karen while um, she was shivering in the refrigerator truck, in the refrigerator box car of the train, right? And then all of those woodland animals, they built the fire for Karen to stay warm, and Frosty was helping her all along the way, even though he melted a little bit. I'll channel Olaf. Some people are worth melting for, right? That's kind of where we're at. Channel Olaf, too. Snowmen know all of the joy in the world. <laughs> 
Um, and then the last one that we really can think about is when Santa makes sure that um, that Frosty stays alive by um, not allowing Professor Hinkle to bully Karen and Frosty. He, he tells them to go away, right? Um, so this movie shows us the pure joy in the simple things in life, in helping somebody, in being alive, right? And having an ice cream sundae. <laughs> and this relates to the joy we feel of Jesus' birth and, and the rebirth that we can all feel, right? Um, one of our Bible verses today comes from Job and says, so this can be like when Frosty comes alive, the spirit of God has made me and the breath of the Almighty gives me life. These children gave him life, and the breath of the Almighty gave Jesus life, right? And then we experience the joy of Mary at this time of year, where she says in Luke, With all my heart I glorify the Lord. In the depths of who I am, I rejoice in God my Savior. Okay? I love joy. <laughs> joy in ice cream, joy in snowmen, joy in this time of year, joy in the <clears throat> things that are to come, right? I want you to find the joy. Maybe build this ice cream sundae yourself. Go help someone who needs help. Help around the house. Find that everlasting joy, all right? Let us bring our hands together and pray. All right, I'll move my ice cream out of the way. <laughs> All right, dear God, thank you for the gift of joy, for the joy of simplicity, for the joy of working together, for the joy of helping others, for the joy of being alive and getting to say happy birthday. And all God's children say, Amen. All right. So, you'll remember we have been working on celebrating the 100th anniversary of this little light of mine. So far, we've done two verses. Do you remember them? That's okay. We'll go over them real quick. And today, we're going to learn the third about hiding it under a bushel. No. Okay. So, let's go back to the beginning with this little eye of mine, right? Let's start from the beginning. We start with this little, ready? This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine, let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. Then our second verse was, won't let Satan blow it out. Ready? Won't let Satan blow it out. No, I'm gonna let it shine. Won't let Satan blow it out. No, I'm gonna let it shine. Won't let Satan blow it out. No, I'm gonna let it shine. Let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. Our last one for today, hide it under a bushel. So we're gonna go hide it under a bushel so we turn it into a flower hide it under a bushel no that's the sign language for no no i'm gonna let it shine okay let's try that first ready hide it hide it under a bushel no i'm gonna let it shine Hide it under a bushel, no, I'm gonna let it shine. Hide it under a bushel, no, I'm gonna let it shine. Let it shine, 
Let it shine, let it shine. All right. I hope you enjoy your Melty Snowman Sunday. Happy Sunday, everybody. Experience the joy this week. See you later. Bye.